Mr. Speaker, earlier this week I visited U.S. Naval Station Guantanamo Bay, a critical military and national security asset serving key roles in the war on terrorism, drug and migrant interdiction, and as a strategic forward base for the Atlantic Fleet. Every day, approximately 7,000 U.S. military personnel and contractors go to work at Gitmo to keep our country safe and to advance our national security interests in the Americas and throughout the world. I had the privilege of meeting with Captain Culpepper, the base commander, who briefed us on the base's preparedness to assist with major migrant events in the Caribbean. This is important considering the significant increase in Cubans fleeing from the island over the last year. I also met with Rear Admiral Clark, who serves as commander of the Joint Task Force Guantanamo. The JTF is working professionally and dig dig diligently to provide safe, humane, legal, and transparent care and custody of detainees. I was able to inspect the detention facilities, and I was impressed with efforts to treat the detainees with dignity and respect. Our brave young people in uniform do an extraordinary job of representing our country, sometimes under very difficult circumstances in this theater. Mr. Speaker, the men and women of Naval Air Station Guantanamo, the Joint Task Force, and the Marines who protect the base perimeter deserve the admiration, appreciation, and support of the American people and this Congress. I thank my colleague from South Florida, Ileana ross Layton, for leading our visit to Gitmo, and I urge all of my colleagues to work to protect and strengthen this critical military asset.